Hey, what's going on you guys? Victor from Cyborg for Life. And before we get into today's video, do you notice anything different about me? That's right, no shoulder sling. I had a checkup with the surgeon yesterday. He says everything looks good and uh, I can start phase two of recovery, which is to rehab back to a full range of motion over the next six weeks. And then I can gradually start to rebuild the strength that I've lost um, and hopefully get back to it. But we'll see if that happens. But anyway, uh, today I wanted to you know, talk about when is it time to stop thinking about limb lengthening and move on with life? Um, because regardless of the reason why you wanna get it done, whether it's cosmetically to get taller or medically to fix a discrepancy, limb lengthening as a procedure can haunt you for years. And I should know, right? Because a lot of patients have reached out to me over the last couple of years. And you know, some of them have had body dysmorphic thoughts. Uh, they didn't have the means to get it done. They didn't have a strong reason to get it done. And they were just trickling in from seeing some flashy before and after video where some guy went from being short to being taller with his thumbs up and a smile on his face. And that can be really powerful marketing, but it can also be a slippery slope because limb thing is like a rip tide where it can pull you in the more you think about, or the more you're in it. Um, and that's dangerous because this is not like kind of a, a procedure that you go through without any consequences, if you will. So I came up with a few tips to help guide you depending on where you are in relation to the surgery, whether it's pre-surgery, you're just thinking about it, or it's post device removal and you're approaching the full recovery point. So let's start with the pre-surgery phase. So I think it's perfectly okay to think about limb lengthening here where you're just learning about the procedure, gathering more information and data about it. Um, you're in the research phase, it's, it's okay. Uh, especially if you have a strong reason why you wanna get it done, whether it's cosmetically to get taller and improve your, your career, to make you feel more confident about yourself, more assertive um, for relationships, that's fine or if you had a discrepancy that was being giving you a lot of pain for the last 10 years, 20 years, whatever, to resolve that and you don't wanna wear the shoe lifts or shoe builds, that's perfectly okay. Um, but just make sure you understand the risks and the effort that goes into making this procedure a successful outcome, okay? The next thing is you need to make sure you have the means to get it done. That means the money, okay, if you're getting it cosmetically done, or the insurance, if you have a, enough of a discrepancy that it will cover it. Also, can you take off enough time from work? Okay, because time, this is not like a surgery you start recovering. It's a surgery you lengthen and then you start recovering. So you need to be able to take off a good amount of time from work unless you can work from, you know, virtually from the phone or a computer, then you can work, uh, this will work a lot better for you. And you have the support or the help to kind of go through with this because a lot goes into this procedure. And if you don't have a helping hand, then like a caretaker or somebody by your side, it can get really hard, even for the morale support. So I'm sure there are a lot of patients, in fact, I know there are patients that have gone through it solo, but I could ask any of them now and I bet you they regret going through it solo. It's just, it's just the way that the nature of this procedure, it's so isolated as it is. If you could at least talk to another limb lengthening patient or join a community, that's why, you know, things like this channel exists, other YouTube channels, the Limb Lengthening Forum, the Discord, all of these things exist to give you that community. So if you don't feel like telling another family member or a friend, that's perfectly fine as long as you have some sort of support. Also make sure that it's not just a phase because like I said at the beginning, if you're just the person who's coming in after seeing some flashy before and after video, then it's gonna be just a phase. You're gonna think about it for a few weeks to a, maybe a month or two, and then you might think of something else. Then this is not something to be kind of dabbling with. However, if you've been thinking about getting taller for the past six to 10 years on an everyday basis consistently, and it's been gnawing at you, then you may want to consult with a surgeon. Or like I said, if you had a discrepancy and it's giving you literal knee, back, joint pain, whatever, then this, you know, consider your options as well. So next up is to make sure your mental health is in check. So last week we had a Limb Lengthening Live with Optimus who gave a really amazing piece of advice to patients and he said, Vic, one thing that I found out is that this is a very isolated procedure and all prospective patients need to make sure that their sanity is stable because, you know, if not, this can be a very dark, dark time. Um, and he's 100% right. You can't have depressive thoughts or severe anxiety or anything that's, you know, body dysmorphia, because if you do, if you go into something like this, it can get really ugly, really, really fast. So you should probably seek professional help, uh, get treatment for that first before going through something like this. Um, now we're not saying you have to be the happiest person in the world. You just need to make sure that you realize what's going on and it's you thinking and not, you know, these, uh, 
these inhumane thoughts. <laughs> and finally, if you're genuinely interested in it. So last week on the live, we also had a patient or a person who was, um, you know, just asking questions. And I was like, are you considering this procedure? He was like six foot two. <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. I'm just, you know, intrigued by it. It's cool. And I was like, that's awesome, you know? So like, if you're interested in distraction, osteogenesis, the rehab and recovery, the changes in biomechanics, or even, you know, the mindset of patients or like anything about limb lengthening, that's fine. Like. I can't stop somebody from liking helicopters because if that's what they like and that's what interests them, then that's fine. Um, it's not like they're gonna go do it, but like, hey, look, you can think about it all day long if you're just like learning about this procedure, if it's fascinating. I mean, it's kind of cool to me too. That's why I keep digging into it. So if you have body dysmorphic thoughts, that's one thing you do not want to keep thinking about it. If you're thinking about, like I remember, I think it was like a year and a half ago, there was a kid who was reaching out to me consistently for a couple weeks and conversationally, it sounded like he really wanted the procedure, but I could tell he had body dysmorphic thoughts because he was like, oh, if I lengthen my tibia to my femur, um, and proportions are fine, you know, to an extent, because that's important because it's a cosmetic procedure and aesthetics matter, but he's like, oh, then I need to lengthen my arms and then I need to worry about my fingers and my jaw and I, my spine and my neck. And I was like, no, 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 no. Then you're playing Legos with your body and then stuff gets really dangerous. So. If that's the case, you definitely shouldn't be thinking about this procedure because then your health is at risk and things can go down uh, downhill really, really quickly. All right, so now let's time skip to about two years post-surgery, around one year post-device removal when you're approaching the full recovery point. And I think this is a really interesting time frame because this is the point where you start to realize that you're no longer thinking about your height. You're no longer thinking about your discrepancy because it's it's gone and the pain is gone, and limb lengthening begins to fade from your mind. At this point, you should let it fade from your mind. You should literally stop thinking about it, okay? Unless you are genuinely interested and you have good intentions to reach back out and help prospective patients or the community of limb lengthening, then it's time to move on at that point, okay? After you've, you've achieved what you consider full recovery. Um, now, if you're thinking about, let's say, another bone segment, or you're, you know, that was phase one of correcting your discrepancy, then sure, that makes sense to stay around and think about it. But if not, it's time to move on. I mean, that's what happened to me. After about the two year mark, I stopped, I forgot I had the procedure done, right? Like I was focused on bodybuilding at that point. I had gotten my little height boost and my discrepancy was gone and it was off my mind. Limb lengthening was off my mind. It wasn't until about five years after my surgery or two, three years after my, uh, I've stopped thinking about it, where I posted something on Instagram and patients pulled me back in. <laughs> and then we started Cyborg for Life a few years after that. So um, that's kind of where we are now. And who knows how long it'll last, but um, all I'm saying is that if limb lengthening starts to fade, let it fade. Unsubscribe from this channel. Unsubscribe from everything that's limb lengthening. You know, unfollow things. Don't go into the forum, the Discord, anywhere. Just pull it away, focus on your life, get back to life as it is because there's, this can be unhealthy to keep thinking about a procedure like this, unless you just like the people. Um, if you like the community and you found meaning here, then that's perfectly fine. And you like helping people and you like answering questions because you've been through it, you understand it. That's, I, I, I commend you for that. I mean, there's some patients in the disc, uh, I mean, the uh, Lemon King Forum, I remember Kilo Khan. Um, another one is Medium Drink of Water. Um, there's several that do it, you know. Um, I think it's cool. And we have the YouTubers, like we have uh, Height Journey, we have Dave from Break My Legs, we have Raz, we have Nicholas from Nicholas's Leg Lengthening Journey, um, we have Brian's um, Leg Lengthening Journey, uh, we have all these people who have, you know, put, given back to the procedure that has given to them, and that's cool. We do it right here on Cyborg for Life as well, so, um, yeah guys, that's pretty much all I have. I know it was kind of off cuff today, but I just wanted to kind of give you my thoughts on this topic. So if you have any other comments you want to, you know, talk about, leave them below. And uh, yeah, till next time, this is Victor from Cyborg Flight, signing out. Peace. Uh, shoulder's so stiff. It feels like it's locked. <laughs> I, can't, I can't lift my arm, but got it.